right, what we're doing today is we are changing the diffuser. This diffuser style is the base slash GT diffuser. I mean, it looks okay, but it has that weird mesh part which gets dirty all the time and you can't keep it clean. And the fins on the bottom aren't there at all, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. But what we're changing to today is we picked ourselves up a GXP diffuser. It's a lot more aggressive, no honeycomb, and the fins are a lot more prominent than the other one. We'll do a side by side to get it to show you what it looks like. Okay, so these are what the two look like. As you can see, there's the old one, garbage. There's the new one, not garbage. So let's install this and get this looking good. So the first thing to do to start removing this is these, oh, not even in focus. That one, or there's four body clips. So it's gonna be, where is it, that one, uh, this one, one right there, and one at the very end. So you take those out first. What the hell am I saying? Did I really not record that whole thing? Okay, so after you take out those four body clips, you're gonna wanna pull on the diffuser part, as Ethan is showing us. And it starts popping right out. And you're gonna wanna go down the body so you don't break anything, <laughs> as Ethan might do here pretty soon. Okay, do not do what we just did. We just broke off <laughs> the diffuser clip in the body. That's a no bueno. So, we're gonna work on getting that out. We'll be right back. While we're letting the uh, chrome stuff on the exhaust tip dry, we are going to transfer these the uh, side markers or reflectors, not side markers, but reflectors to the new one because it does not come with new ones. So we're gonna do that. And how you do that is all there is is a single Phillips head screw and then usually the clip is right there, but it's not even really clipped and it's just kind of held there for position. So you unscrew it. and then it should just pop right out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tent the, the rear reflectors with this tent, so it's not black on red and it doesn't stick out, but yeah. Got anything? Shout out to Premium Auto Styling. That's where we got the tent. You know, really hooked it up. Use code. We got the G8 out here with some monster truck fitment. Look at that. Now just come over here, this fitment might as well just be the same. Yep, about the same. Can you shut up? All right, so we got the side markers back in. They look good tented. They blend in with the uh, diffuser well. All you had to do to put those back in was just screw that shit in. Screw that stuff in. Don't say that word. And then, yeah, it's now time to put it onto the car. Ah. Like, are you good? He's like, uh. <laughs> okay. To install this, you line up all the clips. Ooh. Line up all the clips. Just gonna start from one side. Okay, we got it installed. Looks a lot better and more aggressive. You know what I like about this? You got that perfect cutout for the rain light. Coming soon. <laughs> All right guys, that was the video. Thank you for watching. The new diffuser, new GXP diffuser looks much better than the old one. Uh, the two, or the fins on the bottom, they look much more aggressive, but it was a pretty simple install. It didn't take that long. I'd say the longest part was just wrapping, but that's not necessary. So uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Leave a like and comment. Fingers down my side.